the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, but I'm excited. I got a new project I want to try out. It for encouragement, for growth, and edification for all of us. Those who profess themselves to be Christians is to let's read the entire Bible. One chapter at a time for the New Testament. One chapter at a time for the Old Testament. Use the New Testament in the morning and at uh, nighttime, use the Old Testament. And incorporate it as part of your prayer, meaning it just becomes a routine thing with your prayer life. So what I'm going to do is by being an example is actually go ahead and do that as well. Use it on YouTube. I recommend you do uh, subscribe so you can be notified when the chapter that you need to read comes up and you can go and keep up with it. Subscribe to the channel. You go to the channel and catch up with the ones that you may have missed. But let's, let's get it one day at a time, you know. And what I like to do is I'm excited. I think it's love it because... We really do need to read the Bible for ourselves. Everybody, that. and I encourage many to do that. The reason I'm doing this is because, like I said, it's the title: How to Read the Entire Bible. Read it one day at a time with your morning and prayer, and use an audio book to help you read and pronounce some of those words. Especially when you get into the Old Testament, I'm telling you something else. But also look at this right here. I put down the survey that was done. It was called how much it's called life wave research did it how much of bible have you personally read and you can see 10 percent none 13 percent only a few sentences 30 percent several passages or stories 50 percent at least half of it 12 percent almost all of it uh 11 percent all of it and nine percent all of it more than once. And the reason I don't want you just to read the Bible, I want you to give it, meditate on it, and get that in your heart and your spirit and get revelation that God gives you. So that's why the intent is for you to read these scriptures because you guarantee you, you will grow in the things of God. And then you'll have to depend on other people to tell you something. And then when you go to church, sir, when the man said, Let's turn to such and such chapter. You can sit there and say, I did that. <laughs> I read that chapter. And, and then you get some more comments on that. So that you start to understand what the man is trying to teach. But you keep it in content of those scriptures that they come in. Amen. Hey, I, I think you'll love it. I think I know you'll love it. I know you'll enjoy it because we got to change that stat that we just read. All right. So get ready. Go to the chapter that's up for the day. And don't forget to subscribe, and I guarantee you, we've been able to knock out the New Testament, uh, I think in about seven months. Listen, it's worth it so you can get to know your Bible and know who you are. Because what the scripture says who you are is more important than what people say that you are. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you and I'll see you. Bye-bye. Book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begot Isaac, Isaac begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Judah and his brothers. Judah begot Perez and Zerah by Tamir. Perez begot Hezron, and Hezron begot Ram. Ram begot Aminadab, Aminadab begot Nashon, and Nashon begot Salmon. Salmon begot Boaz by Rahab, Boaz begot Obed by Ruth. Obed begot Jesse, and Jesse begot David the king. David the king begot Solomon by her, who had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon begot Rehoboam. Rehoboam begot Abijah, and Abijah begot Asa. Asa begot Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat begot Joram. And Joram begot Uzziah. Uzziah begot Jotham, Jotham begot Ahaz. And Ahaz begot Hezekiah. Hezekiah begot Manasseh. Manasseh begot Ammon, and Ammon begot Josiah. Josiah begot Jeconiah and his brothers about the time they were carried away to Babylon. And after they were brought to Babylon, Jeconiah begot Sheathael, and Sheathael begot Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel begot Abayud. Abayud begot Eliakim, and Eliakim begot Azar. 
Azar begot Zadok, Zadok begot Akim, and Akim begot Eliad. Eliad begot Eliazar, Eliazar begot Mathan, and Mathan begot Jacob. And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. From David until the captivity in Babylon are 14 generations. And from the captivity in Babylon until the Christ are 14 generations. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit, and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took to him his wife, and did not know her till she had brought forth her firstborn son. And he called his name. It is right here. This is the Lord's Prayer. This is what Christ taught his disciples, which means that this is something that was for all believers to use. It's just a matter, you don't have to use this verbatim, but it's just something you want to do. You see in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, after this man of death will pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, which is this word, it's what we're reading, will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day in the daily prayer. That's why I encourage you to read the Bible daily as well as pray daily. Uh, our daily bread, and the daily bread, once again, is the Word of God. We ain't talking about local bread, we're talking about the Word of God. And forgive us our debts, we give our debt to us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of God. Amen. For if you give me in the trespasses, you have Father also forgive you. This is a reminder of Christ's ten years. It's important for you to forgive others, for your Father in heaven to forgive you. But if you forgive me not their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. So you want to remind yourself daily to forgive those who have offended you. Amen? And just remember 1 Timothy 2, 4, who would have all men to be saved and come to unto the knowledge of the truth. Once again, the knowledge of the truth is the word of God. You don't want it. And there's no other truth given if you don't have the word of God with you. That's why you want to read it daily. That's why I encourage you to do this, to read the entire Bible over and over again. Romans 14, 12 says, and so then every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. And God is going to hold you accountable for understanding his word. He's not going to sit there and say, well, you pass it and tell you I got it. No. He's going to sit there and say, I told you to study. I told you to read the word of God. Amen? So that's what we do that. So, but the main thing is we can do this. We can read the Bible, the entire Bible, especially the entire New Testament, uh, one day at a time, one chapter at a time. And I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget, I do recommend pray daily too. Just like Christ taught us to pray. Pray daily. And pray His will. Pray His word. That's what it is. Therefore, when you ask for things, just line them with His word. Amen. And He wants you to love one another. God bless. I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe. If you subscribe, every time we bring a chapter out, you'll be notified. Then you go ahead and read that, do that reading for yourself. Amen? All right, God bless you. I'll see you when I see you. Bye. This is the day that the Lord has made.
we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.